Welcome to Being Classy. In this video, we are going to go over some of the introductory features of using Edpuzzle in the classroom. Edpuzzle is a digital tool that allows you to turn any video into a lesson. This video shows you what's included in the free version of Edpuzzle. Let's get started. Navigate to edpuzzle.com. Sign up as a teacher. You will be prompted to either sign in using your Google account or another email account with a password. Then you will want to add a class. Now you can create video lessons without adding a class, but you will not be able to access student responses or gather data from their work. Find the My Classes tab. You can connect this to a Google Classroom that you already have set up or go ahead and just create a new class in Edpuzzle. Enter the name of the class in the description, then click Create Class. Then you can either invite students to sign up by using the class code option, or you can manually add students to your class. Now that you have your class set up and your students have been invited, it is time to find a video. Click on content. You can find content that has already been created by other teachers. You could also navigate to popular channels like YouTube, Khan Academy, National Geographic, TED Talk, and more. Or you can copy and paste a YouTube URL. Now you can turn your video into a lesson. There are three features that you can add to the video. The first is the cut trim feature. If your video is too long or if you want to cut out the beginning of the video, go ahead and trim it to be the size or length that you'd like. The second feature is a voiceover feature. You can navigate to different parts of the video and do a recording to add certain notes or comments about the content that is being displayed. Third, the question feature. You can embed questions within the video to check for students' understanding or to engage students more in the content. There are three types of questions, multiple choice questions, open-ended questions, or just notes. Make sure when editing the video and adding these features that you use the cursor and point to the specific part of the video that you would like to insert your question to. Then once you have finished editing the video, it's time to click finish and assign it to students. If you did not create a class, you can also grab a public link to share out to students. But remember, this will not collect any responses or data from your students' work. You can assign a date of when you would like this lesson to be pushed out to students a due date of when you would like this to be due. You can also change a few other features such as prevent skipping, closed captioning, and more. To find student responses, you can navigate to the My Classes to find data, student progress, and much more. I hope this helps you get started turning any video into an engaging lesson. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to check out our other videos. Let's stay positive, pursue the moment, and help somebody.